Hi everyone, Julia here. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to create collections on Shopify. So if you're new to the game and you're still in the beginning steps, stick with me. This tutorial is for you. If you haven't signed up yet, I'm also going to leave a free trial link down in the description. The ultimate goal when setting up your store is to create a smooth, easy and user friendly experience for your customers. And one of the main things that can help you accomplish that is collections. This is how you can guide your customers to find exactly what they're looking for. So the main thing that you'll need to decide today is how to organize your products into various categories. For example, if you're creating a clothing store, you might want to separate your first collections into men's, women's and kids. If you're setting up a furniture store, you could first split it into sofas, chairs and say decoration. In my case, I'll be creating a gardening store, and two of my collections will be clothing and gardening tools. Later on, you can also create more collections if you need to. In the case of a clothing store, you'd probably need many different ones, like outerwear, t-shirts, jackets, shoes, long sleeve t-shirts, pants, and maybe even more. Just try to imagine the best browsing flow for your customers to shop easily, and then create your collections accordingly. Luckily, there are no limits to how you choose to organize this. So let me show you how to get started. From your Shopify dashboard, click on Products and select Collections down here on the submenu. Now click Create Collection. Number one, set your title. My example will be Gardening Tools. If you want, you can also create a description, but it's not 100% necessary as this will mostly be a visual display. Then you'll want to choose your collection type, automated or manual. In a manual collection, you'll be selecting your products one by one, whereas in the automated collection, you can choose different matching conditions. To keep things simple, we'll go with manual for now, as we are still in the beginning steps of setting up our store. But I will also leave some help down in the description if you know you want to set up an automated collection right away. Next up, you'll want to edit your search engine listing. This is how people will preview your web page on platforms like Google or Bing. Make sure to include your brand name, page information here, and also any relevant keywords that can help you rank higher. This will be my example for today. Then you'll want to choose a collection image. This is how your customers will know your collection and also preview it. So choose something that truly represents the products that are in it. Once you're done, click save and go back to your collections. Now, as you can see, there are still zero products in this one. So let's change that. If you still haven't added any products at all to your store, I'm also going to drop a link to another video to help you do that first. Once you have a few products in your store, head over to your products page and select what you want to add to your new collection. Click on add collection and select the one that you've just created. Click save and you're good to go. Now, if you click on one of these products right here, you can also view the collections that it's in down here on the right. And if you want, you can also easily add more or remove any collections right here from this section. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can display your collections on your storefront. Go to online store down here on the left, make sure that you're in the themes section and click customize. Your theme editor should open up like this. Now scroll down, add section and select collection list. Now select this box and choose your new collection here on the left. Click select and go back. You'll also notice that if you hover on these items right here, your theme editor will automatically scroll to that section. So if you're confused, just have a look at that and make sure that you're hovering above the section you want to be in. In this case, it's the collection list that we've just created. Once you have more collections ready to be added, you can go ahead and just continue to design the layout. Set your heading, its size, your image ratio, how many collections you want to show, and finally, the background color for the section. If you happen to have more collections than showing here, you can also check this box and a view all button will appear so customers can find a page where all your collections will be. Once you're done, Hit save and refresh your website. You can also choose to show all the featured products of your collection like this. If you want to do that, just go back to your editor, create another section, this time named featured collection, 
and choose the one you would like to show. Customize everything as we did before, and you're ready to go. That is all everyone. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any other questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you'll also find a free trial link down in the description, along with a few of my favorite resources to help you start selling. And of course, if you're looking for more tips on how to set up Shopify for success, I invite you to subscribe to the channel where I'll be sharing tons of helpful tutorials from zero to expert level. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.